I, I hate reading stuff like that. So when you were pregnant, he cheated on you? Yes, he did. Tell me what was going on. It was just like, I was just going through a lot and I was kind of, you know, when you're pregnant, you have all these emotions. So I wasn't showing as much affection to him. So it was just, he was just going out. Just yeah. doing whatever he wanted to do. But just because you're going through something, mm -hmm. I think that's where men and partners need to understand that's where the empathy comes yeah. in. Yeah. That's where it's like, let me show up for you more. Yeah. Not retreat. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Tell me please about the cheating that happened while you were on vacation. Yeah, so me and my family were out of town about three hours away and you know, we planned it out months in advance. So yeah. he knew I was gonna be gone for that weekend. So when he um, was at my place that I let him move into, he um, wasn't responding while I was on vacation that weekend. I was like, maybe he's busy. And then when I finally came back home from the vacation, I realized that the ultrasound pictures that I had on my um, entertainment center mm -hmm. was face down. Our family pictures that I had have like a wall with our family pictures on it. They're like shifted a little bit, like they've been moved. Mm. Um, I realized we have a camera system inside the house. I realized they were turned off at certain points. And, and I don't know what made me check it, but I did something told me in my head. So I went in our trash can and I dig through it and he thought he was clever. So I found this like a Kroger's bag under uh, some trash in the trash can mm -hmm. and I opened it. It was a used condom. <laughs> It was one of those products that you put into a drink that makes you more aroused. Mm. And then I seen a wrapper for fishnets. And I know damn well that it wasn't for him. Yeah, <laughs> it so was for somebody, yeah, somebody else. You yes. know. So and when I seen all that, I just knew. And I asked him multiple times, like, I'm not stupid. Like, I know you have somebody over. Try to make an excuse and say that one of his homeboys came over while I was gone and his girl. <laughs> So yeah, I'm not stupid. <laughs> um, did he ever? Did he ever confess, or did he stick to that story? It took a long time. Uh, I think I kind of beat him up about it over and over. Like I'm not just please, just tell me the truth. Just yeah. I, I know, you know. Mm -hmm. And he was like, yes, uh, I did have a girl over, and we did try to, but we wasn't, you know, able to have sex because I was just thinking about you the whole time. <laughs> I mean, what did that do to you mentally and emotionally? It really like crushed me because like my whole time, like since the day I met him, yeah. I honestly have not tried to have sex with another guy. I've not do anything sexual. Now with my job, I do have to talk to men to come see me at my job. Are you a dancer? Yes. Okay, got it. So they could tip me. But other than that, I don't have any type of interaction sexual with no other guy. So for him to just like go straight to that and do it behind my back, in the house that I let you come into, mm. it's really It's yeah. a layer for you, I understand. Lately, he's been going through my phone at least four days a week that oh, I noticed. Oh, wow. Yeah. And... Four <laughs> days a week to go through your phone? Yes. And what I do every night... I don't even unlock four... I don't even unlock phones four days a week on this <laughs> yeah. show. Like, that's... Like, that, like, that, that's wild to me. Yeah. That, that's a lot. Yeah. That's a bit excessive. Yeah, it is. And it's increased over time. It wasn't like that first, even when I was pregnant, maybe like once a month or once a few weeks, but now it was just like increasing. Oh, so rapidly. while you were pregnant mm -hmm. and you were at home, not going anywhere, right? he was going through your phone, what did he think was going on? He's out there doing it and he wanted to see if I'm doing it, mm -hmm. so. Got it. You understood that when you met her, you understood her job, you understood where she worked, she was honest in telling you, you have a relationship that's growing, you're changing yourself, she's being honest with you, why cheat? Why cheat? Very good question. I mean, when I found out that this man that you've been talking to for months has, used to be your ex-boyfriend, I thought this, I thought this, this dude was the gay dude. Like you, mm -hmm. to, I mean, you talk to him more than you talk to me. Mm. FaceTime, whatever. And then, you know, that's when my, I started feeling like, what's, what's going on? And then I started going through the phone, but you still talking to like four or five different guys mm. that you used to f like. So, I'm sorry. To so did, so were you, I, I gotta ask you, Erica, were you talking to men? It wasn't like I initiated a text 
and they would text me. They'd be like, how are you? Because they have me on Instagram or Facebook, yeah. and they'd be like, oh, how are you and the baby? It would be conversations like that. It Got wouldn't it. be like, oh, I miss you. When are we going to hang out? It wasn't really like that. Mm -hmm. It was more so like, how are you been? How you doing? Uh, can I well, say you, something, please? Yeah, of course. OK, so just a month and a half ago, one of your ex on Instagram, you said, I miss how you used to <laughs> You tell this guy I'm a deadbeat father. I'm a deadbeat father. First of all, first of all, we were on a break. OK, so you were on a break. For not longer than five days. We was on a break. So. It was nothing like that. But did I go see him? Did we hang out? I do not know. I don't know. So you're admitting that you did break up with her at that time, but you came back? Yes. Uh, OK. We have but like it has happened like, this yeah, happened like 10 times. She knows it happened yeah. open like over 10 times. I break up with her two days later. Baby, just please, let's try it again, but let's do things different. OK. Got it. And so what happened when you proposed to her last week? When I tried to propose, you know, she's like, oh, no, no, no. Like, I'll take a promise ring. But it's so but much behind that, though. Like, I just keep remembering the past. Like, one question. Uh-huh. Why before when I met you, when I was able to give you $3,000 any day of the week or 5000 no problem. Everything used to be so different. You used to be, I love her, me. I love you this. You know? But you I used cheated. To tell, I used to That's tell, the moment what, when it changed. You cheated. Because you changed. You feel like your financial situation is the reason why she feels differently about you? Yes. I mean, it being over it's a year, that. that means Erica right here No, has... it's not that. It's just that the times where you were out, like, a woman remembers how she felt when she was pregnant and she was cheated on. Mm -hmm. That's what I, the emotions that I felt when I was pregnant and you was cheating on me, it's really hard for me to like move past that. And we talk about this all the time. Uh -huh. And he's like, oh, like, move on, move on. It's not that easy to move on. Well, listen, um, I think it's time to unlock the phones to get to the facts of this. <laughs> Joel, I think it's time we unlock your phone first. No problem. Okay, then. You want to know if he was talking to any women on apps, if he was, he was receiving any explicit right, photos right. or videos, and if he has been texting any other women, correct? correct? Are you worried about anything being found in your phone? Uh, no. Yeah. Sir. It took a little too uh, long to answer that, but okay. No. You're not worried. I was okay with, yeah, I agreed to the phone thing. Okay, I'm okay then. with it. Okay, then. Great. All right, well, listen, let's get to it. Erica, you want to know if Joel has any dating apps on his phone? Joel says he does not. My Unlock the Phone investigator searched his apps and found that Joel is not telling the truth. He has Tinder and 3F and is speaking with two women on those apps. Joel. I trust you. I try to trust you, Joel. You trust me? Yes. And you try to, and like I said, when they're doing it themselves, they do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Erica, you want to know if Joel has received any explicit photos from women? Joel says he has not. My Unlock the Phone investigator searched his photos and found that Joel is not telling the truth. We found two suspicious videos on his phone. One of was of him receiving oral sex in December. And the other video was him inviting women to his hotel room. Why would you... <laughs> Can I Why see? Why would you do that to me? And you said you haven't done anything except things that I didn't know, but I didn't know about that. You want to know why? It don't matter. You know you how a man feel when it's been over a year, last time you <laughs> the way you used to. You just lay in the bed. You just lay there. You don't move. Before when it, when it was money and all that, I'm the one that used to tell you, stop, please stop, stop. <laughs> stop, like, it, it, we had enough. Now you just... Come on, it's, it's how insecure feelings, I feel. My feelings have changed so much. He don't realize that, like, with the, the baby, with the emotions, the hormones, and that's when it really changed, when, like, when my hormones was, like, all over the place and I wasn't, like, more into it because of my hormones. That's when he's like, oh, girls, when they're pregnant, they usually, they usually want it more. Your hormones. But I was the opposite, how old is and he our, did not understand How old that. is our daughter? Nine months. Okay, what happened after that? You're still the same, right? No, it's not the same. I mean, you're still the same. the same. No, and it's then, not like, the same. And then, like, I know, look, I'm, I'm wrong. I should never. Well, hold on, we're going to keep unlocking the phone. So, uh, <laughs> my unlock the phone, you also wanted to go know about text. My unlock the phone investigator searched his text and found that Joel is not telling the truth. Oh my God. We found 55 text messages between Joel and six other women. 
All Six. flirtatious and sexual in nature, including compliments, asking for sexy photos, Are you and asking serious? for dates. And these were probably recently. I mean, I'm just saying, like, I, I'm wrong. I should, you know what? I should not slow my, go that low and do what you do. But I, how can you blame me? But, how can you blame me when you, when you keep talking I've to never, these guys with your ex? Since the day I met you, Joel, I have never told a guy I wanted to see them. And what I do for work, like, I see guys at work. I never try to meet them outside of work. But it's okay I never... for you to miss. I mean, I don't know if you have met them or not, like that, but it, what do what you think I'm, I'm going to think? That you is doing it. What, you, what am I going to think? It's so, you never, just talk about it. I'm, just... I'm watching, looking at all these, and this is a lot of you engaging and, and requesting a lot of this. And this is December. Six this is, is you lot. saying, come see me. Let's do this. You, you're really? asking to check in on you. This is, this is not just a, a random hookup. Um, this is, head, you know, you this one, Hola Soy de, um, Joel de Tinder. You're saying this is Joel from Tinder. Like, so you're like hitting them so up. So you're getting their number. You're, you're, okay. you're hitting them up on different apps. Okay. Six women. <laughs> no? Yes. Okay. I'm just supposed to just sit there and let Erica just, I mean, just suffer, right? Just, I mean, I'm, you're doing things that made me think that you're doing it, so that's why I'm, I'm over here. Okay. So you actually do it, though, but you so, actually so don't I have, do I have, it. So I have a sense, because, Joel, you wanted um, us to unlock Erica's phone as well. And I, what I'm realizing right now, and this is what I, I know in, in games of manipulation, and so I'm going to use you as a teaching lesson for anybody out there. When you have somebody who is actively engaging in cheating on you and doing things behind your back, there is a manipulation tactic to say, well, I'm going to say you're doing it as well. It's the easiest way to deflect from ourselves. So I understand now that you unlocking her phone is just a tit-for-tat mechanism. It's just for you... Exactly. To be justified. And I say that every time. And I, I don't know what's time. in here, but I'm almost positive. I would bet, I would bet that there's nothing on this. Because of hearing how you've been in your emotional state, the things that you're going through, hearing the transparency, hearing that you, you go through a phone four days a week, you have hired something, there's nothing in this phone that could be found. So, yeah, so we're unlocking your phone. Nothing, 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 See? nothing, nothing, See? nothing. See? I told you. I told not you. Not a thing found in her GPS, not you. a thing found in her apps, not a thing found in her text messages. I have not downloaded no dating apps. Nothing. Nothing. There's nothing found on her phone. Nothing. Um, and, I, I, know I, mean, that, I know that we normally make those a little bit more dramatic here, but for me, this is a state where what I'm seeing here is you're, you're, you're accusing her because you have yet decided that you actually want to actually be the man you're saying you want to be. You're telling her you do, but you're actually not doing that. And I understand that growth is uncomfortable, but you're making her more uncomfortable by not being honest. If you don't exactly. want to grow and you don't want to have this life, that's one thing. But stop telling her this. I never, I respect you so much. I only speak good about you. You know but my, that. But my thing but is, let me, no, let me no, ask no, a question. No, let me ask no, a question. No. So, but no, what about the, no. her ex? A month, a month ago, why is she telling this guy this? Well, I'm tracking timelines. And during okay. that timeline, you said out of your own mouth that we broke up 10 times where I broke it up for her. And what, what the problem is, every time you've broken up with her, you have expectations that she's supposed to react or act a certain way based on what you have in your mind. But if you say to some woman, I'm breaking up with you, she has full right and authority to text and do whatever she wants. <laughs> Unlike you, you are in a relationship and doing these things. Yeah. You were in a committed relationship. You didn't have a break, and you were texting these women. I just looked at the text messages now. So, so there's a difference there. You broke up with her and then expected her to stay faithful. That's not fair. So are you ready to um, break up? Yeah. I'm, really, I'm ready to co-parent. We talked about it. but You tell him. Yeah. I think it's best if we co-parent with our daughter because now that I've heard all of that, after you don't lie and said you haven't talked to no woman, no dating apps... All that, I think, is best for us just to separate and just be a co-parent. Boom. There you go. The cheating is, the cheating is it's just too much. Six women? Six. That's a lot. Six. Six. And, like, I've, I've caught them cheating, like, when going through phones and seeing they've met a couple girls. But that was, like, a long time ago. That was, like, three, three girls. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure a lot of that was recent. So. Yeah, it was recent. It was also deleted. That was one of the things that we do on this show. We find things that are deleted. Wow. So. You talk about me deleting so, stuff. Yeah, so, so that's important.
I'm glad you got your truth. Good luck Thank with everything, you. all right? Thank you so much. All right, everyone, stay with us, friends. We'll be right back with more.